So we've got a rare half horse, half alligator bowie here that we've discovered. Ted is uh, the owner, the proud owner. And if I remember right, Ted said that he has kept this in a safe for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, it's and getting a little rusty uh, from the dampness. I'm going to have to clean that up when I get home. I just noticed it when I took it out of the bag. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's <clears> not some etching, but that's the man's name who, who had it made for him. Uh -huh. Sam Wood Clossop? Something like that. Yeah. I can't me to read. And what about the maker? The maker's the unusual. Maker? Uh, Royals, uh, Sheffield. Not a common name. It says J uh, R Y A L and S Sheffield, and it's a um, bone. Is that bone or yeah? That's horn. Yeah, that's horn. And then we've got nickel silver mouse. Yep, half horse and half alligator there. And on the other side as well. Probably the early 1800s. Yep, yep. Beautiful knife. What's uh, what's the story on the half horse, half alligator? Do you know much about that? From what I remember, uh, the Sheffield makers were trying to appeal to the Americans because the Americans were the only ones buying these big knives. And uh, someone once mentioned that the southern guys were so tough they they fought like they were half alligator half horse that's what it was and so yeah. they said well we'll make we'll, you know we'll do that appeal to the southern buyers and something like this would probably be real popular in new orleans and uh, and in the south yeah that is just it's fantastic it's just such a beautiful knife and so rare I mean, I know that you've got a bunch of other Bowie knives over here, but uh, you know, really, I can see why you keep that one in the in the safe. <laughs> this, this one's German. Uh huh. This one's French. The metal uh -huh. sheath. Uh -huh. These are all Sheffield. That's American. Uh huh. That we don't know what that is. We think it's German. Uh huh. Uh, American. French. No, that's Sheffield. That's a beautiful knife. Yeah. That's unusual with the clam head. That almost looks like a Edward Barnes maker. This is a, another popular type of buoy with the clam head. Right. Yeah, no, is the maker this Edward? This great blade. Look how oh. the false edge comes all the way from here. Woo! What is that, 17 inch? Uh, looks close. <laughs> I would say 14 inch. Oh, <laughs> and is it stamped with a maker's mark yeah, on there? Um, right there, I gotta get my, my glass out unless you got better eyes than that. Um, it's a cast steel. Okay, that's just a type of steel. Right. The maker's name should be. Maker's name. It's definitely Sheffield, though. Yep, definitely Sheffield. That's horn. Uh huh. And silver. That's pure silver. Not right. nickel silver. That. And that's. This, this uh, cavern has silver miles too. And it's in amazing shape too for its age. That's a museum tag. A museum tag. Uh huh. Okay. That. That knife right there is definitely uh, worth its weight. I wouldn't say in gold, but it's pretty close. Oh, geez, we all exaggerated. 12 inches. <laughs> well, overall length. Yeah. Overall length, you're talking what? From oh, here to... Oh, from here to here, that's... Uh, 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I was right. <laughs> Actually, we'll just talk about the blade length. And what's the measurement here on this half horse, half alligator? That's... You got a 10-inch blade on that bad boy. Yeah. It's like a 14-inch knife right there. Fantastic. And if anybody has some serious offers, they can contact Ted. At, some more uh, Sheffield knives. That one with the ivory butt is uh, American. This is Scottish, a Scottish sure, shirt. This sure. is 1700, so very early dirt. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this one was made during the Civil War. There was a religious group from, I think, Kansas that was taking sword, swords. They'd use the handle from a sword, and then they'd make these buoy knives for the, for the northern soldiers. Here we have a silent dog. 
So Ted, um, you can reach him at that number right there if you uh, want to make a serious offer on any of these knives. So, uh, yeah, there, there it is right there, guys. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.